I'd like to begin just by expressing the sense of shock that we all feel as a city and as a nation and indeed across the world there have been expressions of love and sympathy and support for the people of Christchurch and particularly for the communities that have uh, been um, on the receiving end of this uh, attack. Um, our hearts go out to all the victims, their families and of course everyone else who has been affected and at the same time we acknowledge the extraordinary bravery and courage of our police, our first responders and all those that are now supporting um, the victims uh, of this attack. Uh, today our focus is very much on providing practical support to the families. There is a lot for them to be going through and our hearts are with them but our practical support needs to turn to them as well. And then there is the wider community of Christchurch. We've all been affected, everyone has been touched in some way, shape or form. And uh, the messages that I've had uh, overnight have been a, a desire to come together as a community and to reach out and offer solidarity uh, to our, our, our community, um, our Muslim community, a part of our community. We are a very diverse city in Christchurch. We have welcomed uh, new people into our city. We are talking about people in the city who have lived here for years and years and years. They are our friends, they are our neighbours. We um, embrace them at this time. And I know that I speak for all of the people in Christchurch when I say how much we want to come together to support them. So we want to work together with those communities to ensure that uh, we do this um, appropriately and in support and give them the time and the space that they need to deal with the immediate issues at hand. We still have injured people in the hospital. So uh, we will find a time and a place for us to come together um, and to share that sense of grief and loss, but also to share that sense of love, compassion and support that we feel for these communities. The next thing is that people have said that they want to lay floral tributes or other tributes in memory and in respect of those who have died. Uh, and uh, so we have made available the uh, Botanic Garden wall along Rolleston Ave opposite the Art Centre. The reason we chose that place is because it's close to the hospital, very close to the hospital, and so there is a direct connection uh, with the people whose lives have been lost. Uh, and we know that the police still have cordons on the two mosques, and we do want to ask people to stay away from those places. Uh, we will ensure that those tributes are made available to the community at an appropriate time. Um, the next thing that uh, has come through is a strong desire also to contribute money. Uh, there are people who are offering financial support that want to help out. I know that um, Victim Support have set up an immediate uh, helpline uh, fund for uh, supporting the family members, uh, the victims uh, of this terrible attack. Uh, and uh, the Christchurch Foundation, which has been recently established, will also set up a fund because it won't just be for the immediate aftermath of what what we've experienced in the city, but it will be about rebuilding communities, rebuilding what has been lost and ensuring that the communities are able to be well supported into the future and that will be announced by the Christchurch Foundation um, this morning. Um, and the, uh, all of the flags are flying at half-mast on our council-owned buildings today and until further notice. Uh, this is uh, an expression of our civic support for the communities and the loss that have been experienced. And uh, many events at the weekend have been cancelled as well. Uh, some of them will be known to you already. The cricket test at the Hagley Oval between New Zealand and Bangladesh, which I think uh, is a powerful statement of the support from both sides of 
um, you know, the, the, the sporting fraternity that were gathered here in the city for an important game uh, to, out of respect, not play that game today. Uh, the Brian Adams concert will not proceed either and all sport at Hagley Park um, is cancelled until further notice. Thank you. Talked about practical support. Could you go Well, sadly, because of the numbers of people who have been killed, there will have to be a, a large number of funerals. There are very specific requirements in terms of uh, Muslim funerals, and uh, the council is working uh, very closely with the communities to ensure that there are proper places available for preparation and for appropriate uh, graves to be dug. They are being dug today. How shocked are you that this happened in your city? Sorry? How shocked are you that this happened in your city? I'm very shocked that it has happened here, but I'm shocked that it's happened in New Zealand. If this had happened in any other city in this country, I would be equally shocked. And I think the reason that we have been targeted, and this was, as I understand it, a deliberate decision to target our city and our country, was because we are a safe city and a safe country, and that was the message. So in my response to the choice of Christchurch uh, by this uh, terrorist individual who chooses to um, terrorise our city, uh, it is a, an act of cowardice that he has performed. It is uh, something that uh, will... Um, it, it, I, I guess there are no words to describe the um, revulsion that I feel for the, um, the propaganda that he wanted to uh, bring with this, and I will not give voice to that propaganda. His was the voice of hate, and the only way that communities can respond to the voice of hate is to come together in love, um, compassion and kindness. Are you concerned about potential extremist movements in Christchurch? I haven't been uh, so um, concerned at all. Uh, I've uh, obviously only been the Mayor of Christchurch for the last uh, five and a half years. Uh, and uh, prior to that, though, I was a Member of Parliament for over 20 years. And uh, this sort of extremism is not something that we've seen here. But he is not from here. He came here, he came here with hate in his heart and intention to kill in his mind. So he did not um, uh, develop his hatred here. Uh, he came here to perform this act of terrorism. Have you spoken to the Mayor of Dunedin? No, I haven't spoken to the Mayor of Dunedin. I've heard this morning that on the radio that there is an interest in a property uh, in Dunedin. Uh, I've spoken to the Prime Minister, I've spoken to um, the Minister of Police, I've spoken to the Minister of Civil Defence. So I certainly have reached out, I've received messages from almost every mayor in the city and actually a number of mayors from around the world have contacted me as well to share their sense of horror and compassion for our city. This was a very um, well planned um, and coordinated attack, wasn't it, involved um I heard the Commissioner of Police correct that statement last night that was there were two devices in one car right. is what he said.